this is Stuckfather, and please forgive me because this thing is popping up ads like crazy in my mind. Anyway, uh, I got to thinking, uh, so knowing with the point figure that it's going to come down below 375, and, and between 375 and 350, that's the, that's the direction it's going right now. It's already in that double bottom breakdown. Um, it's already proven it. Um, it's more than likely going to go down to a spring, which <clears throat> the spring would be between 375 and 350, like I just said. Uh, but that raises us to go up to 14 to 20. So we're between 14 and 20. So this is where my thought came in. Okay, so we come down. Let's say we do it kind of, well, I probably have a more up thrust and then down. Uh, stop somewhere in between there. Uh, mess around there. Come up. Start doing our last points of support. LPSs, as they're called. Kind of does something like this. It's all white cloth. So if you're confused, just forget it. Uh, so anyway, then our run up. Do a strength test. Come back down. Mark, mark, mark. And take off. And this takeoff will take us between 14 and 20. <coughs> so far, if you follow me. Um, uh, let's say uh, we make it up to 20. Or let's give it 19. Oh, I guess I landed on 20. Let's get these things out of the way. You're like, what the? Who cares? <clears throat> well, we have these two previous walls over here. Um, and you're like, okay, who cares about that? All right. Well, these walls can uh, be built on the point and figure. This wall here would be a new count, and the new count would be larger, and basically it would sideways here, or, or up here, yeah, especially up here, it would be a huge, huge count for, for, uh, if it goes up to 20, right? And that could just be the, to collapse it, or what I was thinking was maybe this will be the reaccumulation time. <clears throat> okay. Brief history of the stock, and then I'll be I'll be done. It's been in a downward cycle forever. Um, we just now started poking our head out in this accumulation, as you can see, right? I'm not really big at making these things, so bear with me. So <clears throat> when it was going, when it was on this uh, pretty strict um, range here, uh, and it started going up. And this should have been the part where it, where it broke out and uh, should have reaccumulated here and then broke out and went for another run. A lot of institutions, including BlackRock, seem to have bought in uh, uh, somewhere in this area down here, uh, believing that it was going to go up. And then um, uh, something changed. And then my thought was, what if... One of the big institutions thought, well, we know that they're going to hold forever, so why not sell off to them up here, go down, collect up, and then bring it back up? And I think everybody kind of pictured that was going to happen, right? And especially here. This was like the first time that I thought it was going to keep running. So it comes up, and it completely fails, and it comes back down, right? And so, for all of uh, 2022, it was like going down, uh, and then in March, comes up, spikes down, the rest of 2002 stays pretty close to the bottom, and then it has one uh, more in July, spikes up, goes down, been going down ever since. Okay, so what have you got? 
what have you got retail used to? This feeling of foreboding and it's going to constantly go down. Okay? So, <clears throat> most people will think the next run up, when it stops, I'm going to get out. Well, these people know that we're buying over here in the 30s and 40s or whatever it was at, that they can buy there and it'd still be good, but they can buy way down here and push it up and they'll buy your 20s. They'll buy them up. And at this point, when it's not coming back down, the shorts are in a panic. The shorts, when this starts to go up, the shorts start to think, oh no, we don't have control over it anymore. It is no longer bearish. It is bullish. And then it comes up. And it doesn't have to go up that far. If we get into the where it is currently, into the 25 range, we're back to where we were uh, before it started coming down. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. And then from here, this whole, everything above this, everything in this area has been worked to death. So from here, they don't need to, they might mess around for a, quite a while like I just messed, but they don't have no reason to stop. They can keep pushing. And at this point, the short squeeze happens. And what people call MOS happens in effect. And it's, it's, it's very possible. Uh, anybody that follows my stuff knows that I'm normally uh, very bearish. If you can see it after it gets up to here, it would basically uh, be like a giant cup and handle thing where it would then pull back into the range and then go sideways and out. And who knows how high it will go. There you have it. Uh, my vision of MOAS. Um, you know, people feel like it's like really low now, but look how low it was back in, in the day before they had their big run. And we're working off about just as much energy right here. This is where they picked it up. See this? This is where the insanity started coming in. And it won't take much in to get an insanity coming in here. It wouldn't take much at all. And the thing that's gonna suck is a lot of retail is gonna sell thinking I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for this again where it just comes up and I lose all my money and then they sell off and then we get the next push up and they're like regretting it. It's ten dollars more up and then it's ten dollars more up and then it starts to go back down buy even more here because they know that they're going to shoot it up but they're giving the people the feeling like it's finally going to give way and they're going to lose out they should have sold last time better sell here they're just going to collect so much before they could push it up and they've got everyone scared enough to where they can do it so there you have it i'll post it out there for you guys um and uh Hope you have a nice Super Bowl Sunday and uh, fun in the markets Monday.